Welcome to the Animate CC Lip Sync Tutorial. Today's tutorial will start with going over Papagayo. Papagayo is an open source software package that allows you to line up the phenoms or mouth shapes with your audio track in an easy fashion. The link to Papagayo will be provided in the video description below. We'll start by opening up our audio file. Papagayo only works with WAV file formats. You'll need to make sure that you record your audio narration in a WAV file format. Once you import your audio file, you'll see the waveform represented here. You're going to want to make sure that the same frame rate that you're using in your animation is used inside the Papagayo, otherwise your syncing will not match up. When previewing your lip sync animation, you can select from four different mouth shape groups. For the sake of this tutorial, we will work with mouth shape 1. In the spoken text text box, type in the words that are spoken in your recording. As you do this, you'll notice the phenome sounds appear at the bottom in pink bars, your words will appear as orange bars, and the sentence will appear as a green bar at the top. As you do this, you may need to scrub through your timeline. Doing so will allow you to hear your recording frame by frame, and better identify when words start and stop. As you do this, you may need to scrub through your timeline. Doing so will allow you to hear your recording frame by frame, and better identify when words start and stop. I'm going to fast forward this part, so hang on. Before we go into Animate CC, let's take a look at the different phenome shapes that Papagayo uses. When creating the mouse shapes for your character, use this image as a guide to make sure that each phenome sound is represented. The link to this website will also be available in the video description below. Let's jump into Animate CC and get started with our lip sync animation. For the lip sync to work, we're going to have a couple of nested clips within our animation. Our first mouth clip is on the stage, and it's a graphic. Within this clip, we have another clip. It's important to note that it is set as a graphic and set as a single frame. If these parameters are not set like this, the animation will not work. Let's go into our next nested clip. You'll notice there are two layers, a label layer and a mouse shape layer. For each phenon shape, there is a keyframe and an associated label. You'll learn what the labels are for shortly. Now comes the fun part, setting up the keyframe lip sync animation. Let's get started. We're going to go back into Papagayo. You'll notice that frame one has no word bar or phenom bar. Anytime you see this in Papagayo, you're going to put a rest phenom shape in your keyframe animation. Our second frame has the phenom shape AI. So we're going to go back into Animate CC and create a new keyframe in the second frame. In your newly created keyframe, click on the mouth on the stage, and then under the loop and section of the properties panel, click Use Frame Picker. You'll have the option of using the frame picker as a list or as thumbnails. This is why we set up frame labels back in our mouth clip to be able to easily identify the phenom shapes that we want to use for our keyframe animation. When there are gaps between phenom sounds within a word, those gaps will be represented by the phenom sound that comes directly before them. The process then continues going back and forth between Papagayo and Animate CC, adding keyframes and ensuring that the phenom shapes match what's prescribed in Papagayo. I'm going to pause the recording now and come back when the lip sync animation is complete. If you are following the tutorial, your keyframe setup should look something like this. Let's go back to our main scene, create a new layer for our voice, and import our recorded voice onto the stage. Unlike Papagayo, it's best to use MP3 formats to import into Adobe Animate CC. There we have it, our lip sync animation is now complete. Animation is hard. But you may notice that your lip sync animation continues. There is one small thing we can fix to change that. That's changing our graphic clip from a loop to play once. Animation is hard. Well that's it. Have fun creating great lip sync animations with Adobe Animate CC and Papagayo.